This time we're jumping right in with my favorite thing in the whole wide world, Python. Obviously, you guys know I love Python. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a list. Anytime you put something in brackets, Python calls it a list. So right here, if I say attacks, you can see that I've got a stack overflow, heap overflow, integer overflow, right? So here's my list of attacks. If I want to throw brackets here, left bracket, right bracket, left arrow, and I want the very first one, that's the stack overflow. If I want the second one, right, there's the heap overflow. Now, if I do minus one, I want the last one, right? If I do minus two, I want the next over from the last one, right? You're reading this way now. So it gives you a way that you can say, okay, I want to read these things into a list. And then for each one of these, I want to be able to talk to or grab each one of these, right? Play with whichever one I want. Okay, last construct, and then we can finally get into some labs. Finally, we're done. Woo, no more basics. Okay, so let's say I create an attack, and the attack is, double quote, double quote, left arrow, SQL injection, right? Now, if I say if attack, right, equals SQL injection, right, do something. Now, Python... Python uses tabs, so whenever I have a colon, you see those three dots? That's letting me know I need to tab over. So I use my tab key, tab over, and I'll say print the attacker is using Okay, now if I up and change attack to something else, So here I've now changed attack to no longer be SQL injection. Now attack is XSS. Now as soon as I run this, nothing happened, right? Because the attack is not SQL injection. In this case, the attack is cross-site scripting. So how does all that work? You know, you gotta kind of like wrap your head around like, okay, if this case is true, say this. Well, that's kind of what's important in log files because like you want to be able to look through log files and go, well, if I see this, let me know, right? When you see this line, you see select something, 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 let me know, hey, that's a SQL injection. You do script alert, something, 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 hey man, let me know that's cross-site scripting. And that's really what you're kind of doing in a log file. So now when you want to pop out of Python, you just exit, left parent, right parent. We get down here in these lines, line 423 in my case. I'll grab that log file again. Actually, I already have it, but you guys will get it. Let's say I want to read the log file and look for a particular IP address. Okay. So that IP address, 141.101.80.188, shows up in that log file, 1, 2, 3, 4, looks like 4, 5 times, right? Now, I can do that. I can pipe wc-l, and you can see, yep, it's in there 5 times. I can do the same thing. for this IP address. Okay, yep, it's in there. How many times is it in there? Okay, it's in there seven times. Well, 
definitely cool, but something that's of interest is Python has the ability to do something called read line or read lines. So what I would tell you to do is if you're trying to learn this in Python, you can Google Python read file, Python read line, Python read from file. Hmm. You Google that and you'll find some real down and dirty tutorials. I think they're great tutorials for how to read from log files, uh, how to read from files flat out. So here's a really good reference. This link right here. Great reference for how to read a file in Python. Right? Super, super handy. So I'm going to do this. Let's go with Python. And now let's mess with that log file. So I'm going to F open. Finally, what I was trying to show you in the PowerPoint, huh? So I'll F open that log file, and I'll open that log file as an R. So it's got the read attribute. If it was RW, it would be read write. If it was just W, it would be write. So I want to read this log file. Now I'm going to say lines equals F dot read lines. Now what that does, read lines takes in every line of a file and makes it an element in the list. So control L clears my screen. Let's look at what I've done so far. These are my only two lines. So F equals open in parentheses, access log, read, lines equals F dot read lines. So now I can go lines. Uh, yeah, I just do lines. Blows them all out there, right? Control L cleans my screen. If I want to print them, right? Control L cleans my screen. Now, what if I go lines, left bracket, right bracket, left arrow, zero, right? There's my first line, right? 10, 10th tenth line, 50, 50th line, 500. thousand and ten thousand so you can see each of these various lines now I can say you know what's the length of lines right and you can see you know it's 11,756 11, same thing that you saw me do when I did that WC-L in my previous stuff right now, you can make a simple Python script to do that, so I can exit, right, vi log read. Let's go log read one, yeah? Right, so it's the exact same thing, right? So, user bin env python, right, f equals open, I open up that access log lines equals f dot read lines print the lines then close that um, object right so this is just doing the exact same thing that's all it's doing If I can help you learn about who we are and hopefully if you're willing to join us. This is InfoSec Addicts.